you remember when you first met? He came to the pet store looking for a job. It was summer after sixth grade. Seventh. Seventh. What were your first thoughts when uh, you got the script, when you read the script for the first time? Uh, Jessica Elbaum, one of the other producers, sent me the script and I was just blown away by Sammy Birch's writing because in really simple dialogue, she expresses such depth of emotion and history and complication and all of these characters were so nuanced and, and fascinating and so many of the questions that she raised were some of the things I'm most obsessed with about performance and art and um, storytelling. Oh, I felt the same way. I mean, I was so, I, I, I think that the, the script is so extraordinary and also um, deceptive in its simplicity. You know, it, it really sort of, it's, it's, it feels very direct. And as we got into it, I think with each of the scenes that we played, it has this incredible room for emotion, you know, and for the things that people don't say and this kind of, this, this strange kind of muscularity with what it could hold in terms of its, its tremendous amount of feeling. Yeah, I was blown away when I got the script. I mean, all, you know, Sammy Birch's script, I mean, she, the complexity of these characters were so vast. And, you know, when it came to Joe and just exploring who this man was, there's so much subtlety in between the texts. There's so much space, you know. Looking at your shirt, it reminds me of, you know, Tony Long from In the Mood for Love, where yeah. he's communicating so much, but not saying anything at all. That's kind of what I felt with, you know, Joe in the script. Yeah, I mean, all of your performances, are, as I said, are amazing. Uh, Charles, you're getting a lot of praise for your performance. You got a couple of awards already. Your name is on the table for the Oscars next year. How do you feel about all of this? Oh, I, I'm just grateful to, you know, be here. I think about those 23 days that we filmed in Savannah, Georgia, the greatest experience, you know, in my career. I mean, working with Natalie and Julie, with Todd Haynes, I mean, it, it, that was the cake, you know? You never really think about anything other than that, but I did lose my fantasy football league this year. <laughs> so I'm a little upset about that. <laughs> but yeah. It's always next year. I know, that's yeah. what they say. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say. Doesn't feel better. <laughs> so uh, this movie is inspired by a real story. Um, Julianne, I know that you had the, mat the source material very close to you or you looked at it uh, for inspiration to create your character. Uh, where do you draw the line um, between reality and fiction for your character? Uh, you know, whenever I'm working on anything, I always do some research. I like to find I like to find things that are are that are occurring in our world to 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 um, to to work with my character. But every movie that you make is a flight of imagination. So I think that there are things that you use to. Um, to, to ground yourself or that I used to ground myself. But honestly, this is a story about, you know, uh, Gracie and Joe and Elizabeth and those characters only exist in this script. So, and the script itself was so rich, was so detailed. Um, I think that that was really my document. That was what I used. Yeah, um, so uh, you've never worked together before. Uh, but you have amazing chemistry in the movie. You share some scenes that are full of intimacy, even some sexual tension, I would say. Was <laughs> that uh, on the screen? Mm -hmm. Like, you, were you aiming for that? I think that it was something that came out of just our meeting each other and mm -hmm. being attracted to each other. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but also Todd's direction. Yeah. I think um, the the character, first of all, it was just so extraordinary to get to work with Julie, who I've admired for so long and had met socially in a very kind of, you know, Hollywood, yeah. like, hey, nice to meet you <laughs> kind of way, but nothing very in depth. And then to get to know her as a person and realize that her humanity you know, equaled her brilliance as an actress was like such, such an amazing discovery. And I felt like immediately we were in sync and we were just connected and it was so lucky that I f our, our working style was very similar. Like we both take our work very seriously and we're very in it and we like to play and we like to push each other. And then when I say cut, we're like, just ourselves again and like talking about our kids or our homes or whatever, you know, just like getting to be friends and um, it was so fun. And then, yes, I think the two characters are constantly vying for power. It's a power mm -hmm. struggle of who gets to tell the story. They both have their version of the story that they want to tell and they'll use any means necessary, including seduction, which 
Todd really, you know, gave us those little uh, directions to go in these different kind of strategies for overpowering each other in those scenes. Mm -hmm. For each one of you, what was the most challenging thing of this process of making this movie? Maybe a scene or an aspect of, of the process? My character was challenging, man. <laughs> I, think that, <laughs> I think that someone who's living in, in that kind of a constructed fantasy um, and is maintaining it at all costs, um, that was very, very challenging. To, 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 who not only maintains it for herself, but insists on that narration for everybody else around her. You know, to the extent that you even see, you know, she see how she's promoting the story with Elizabeth, who's come to observe her, but then how she has done it with Joe all these years, to, mm. you know, all the way up to our final scene together, where she is virtually gaslighting him. Mm. You know, so, so that kind of construction <laughs> was incredibly mm -hmm. challenging, mm. because how do you, you know, I needed to be able to do that to kind of present that to the world without commenting on it too because mm -hmm. she so so deeply believes in her own story but underneath it all there's this the sense of I think shame I think one uh, there's a lot of challenging moments but I'd say I'd say um, a lot of great challenging moments but for me filming the rooftop scene with uh, Charlie or, or Gabriel who plays Charlie that was uh, I learned a lot that day just, you know, as an actor to uh, really not get in the way of telling my character story. You know, I, I, I just kept on going and I thought it, uh, Joe had to get someplace. And uh, it was, I was trying to get to a place when it was really not my story to tell, but Joe's story to tell, you know, and I kind of just let it go that day.